Hello once again our most valued student my name is confident welcome to our continuation of the five part series of this lesson where I'm looking at the statistics and now we are focusing on previous papers and I will encourage you to grow to the previous lessons and also remember guys if you are not subscribed you need to subscribe so that you can be notified every time I'm posting a new video now these are previous papers and I'm looking at data handling or statistics and let's look at this question it says the data below shows the number of laptops sold by 15 sales agents during the last financial year and they give us the numbers here now number one says determine the median of the number of laptops sold to max calculate the range of the data to max calculate the interquartile range the max draw a box and whisker for the above is three max 10 max in total and you definitely need to get this right now what do you do first you need to arrange this data into increasing order ascending order so you look at it and say which one is the smallest here this is your number one the next one uh, 37 there I think it's your number two and then the next one from 37 see I'm writing it on top so that I can see which one I'm not I miss out at first so this can be my number three and then 48 my number four I see another 48 here my number five nope that's wrong I've got a 40 see that I've got a 46 so my 46 is actually my number four and then 48 is my number five the other 48 is my number six and then from there I've got a 52 my number seven and then my fifth this four is my number eight my fifth eight is my number nine you see what i'm doing i'm arranging this according to increasing order i've got 62 which is my number 10 and then 68 my number 11 then 73 my number 12 78 my number 13 84 my number 14 and that one my number 15 so i'm able to write this data now look at this i have got number one which is 34 and then 37 see how you if you're arranging it now and then i need enough space so that i make sure that everything fits in so i've got 34 37 number three is 43 number four is 46 number five is 48 number six is 48 number seven is 52 number eight is uh, where is my number eight 54 see that is coming out uh, proper number nine is 58 number 10 is 62 number 11 is 68 number 12 is 73 number 13 is 78 number 14 is 84 and number 15 is 90 see i think you're able to see this now determine the median of the data now median q2 i can use the formula quickly to say 1 over 2 n plus 1 which is equal to they say there are 15 of them which is 1 over 2 15 that n is 15 15 plus 1 is 16 which is equal to 8th remember is the you put a th so it's the eighth term not 8 as the number but it's the eighth term so you come here and say the terms these are number let me just use a different marker this is number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it's the eighth term the it is so I don't need to go far that's it so what is the median so q2 is equal to 54 see that and then calculate the range what is what does the word range means range means take the maximum and take the minimum and separate them so range here is equal to max minus the minimum just that which is what the maximum is 90 and the minimum is what is 34 that's it and then you get your answer
just like that you don't have to stress and do whatever thing is 90 minus 34 and you get what 56 so that is 1.1 1.2 is what is 56 are you seeing that so it's the maximum and at the minimum next one is intercortal range iqr now you remember iqr from the previous lesson you need q3 minus q1 so which means it forces you to find q3 and q1 now look what i do i take this data on q1 remember this is my middle data so it disappears this one i don't want to erase it but in a way what i want to do is look at this uh number here it's taken out you don't include that number so you look at the data that is remaining here uh, so let me not uh, cover that you look at what is remaining here because already we identified that 54 was uh, the eighth number now you look how many numbers do you have you've got seven one two three four five six seven now you look at the middle number remember as i said it, it's like you're scratching and you're scratching the second and the sixth the third and the fifth look the fourth see that so what is it that is my q what that's my q1 okay so what is my q1 in this case my q1 is equal to uh 46 so which is equal to that's my q1 uh not equal to so i must just say here it's minus let's find q3 do the same thing this is one two three four five six seven so we say it, number three here number three there you see number four it's 73 that's it so your iqr is simple that you don't have to stress and do much of the things you just have to follow kind of a system of finding these numbers and then it won't be a problem uh, trust me and then what we have here uh, I've got 73 minus 46 it gives me 27 see so here I've got 1.3 equals to what 27 the next one is draw a box and whisker of the data above so it starts from 43 goes to 78 and then that uh, uh, calculate the range 1 comma 2 it was uh, almost 50 actually no it start from that to 90 so it's 50 so let me see how you can draw this you need kind of a bigger line here and then on this line just gonna try to fix it fit everything I can con say it continues this direction and this direction and then I can have starting here already let me start from 30 and then I have 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 i think this can work for me so as i said it was 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 and 90 now look at this if i'm drawing a box and whisker the first one is to know the minimum so the minimum is 34 let me go back remember when i rearrange this number one was what 34 so you come here and say where can i find 34 so it's 35 it's somewhere here so you mark that seeing that that is your what that is your 34 then after that you can even go to the end 90 where is your 90 it's somewhere here as my 90 so that is my 
9. Then the next one, you look at the Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1 is 46. See that? So you got to 45, 46 somewhere there. You have got that line. And then Q3 is, okay, Q2, just out of interest, you say Q2 was 54 there. So you got to 54 somewhere here. And then lastly, you have got to what? Uh, Q373. So you got to 75, 73 somewhere there. You just have to understand your scale. Then after that, I'm using freehand, but you need to use a ruler. And you can see how I'm drawing it. I could have used a ruler. So in here, what do I have? I have got 46. I have got 54 and I've got 73. Then this becomes my box and whisker diagram. Guys, it's not as complicated as it might look. Uh, you can do this, trust me, you can. It's just 10 marks that I can say I, I have bonus. In the other lessons, I'll just then go on to look at this group data and it will be also another mark that you need to know but not for now now i'm looking simple at the part where i'm looking at the five number summaries and as well as other um simple calculations which is a question one we've come to the end of our lesson now join me in the last part of this session where i now focus on another typical exam question paper thank you